Uh, hello, I'm going to do a video today on uh, moment connections that I have to create. Um, you'll have to excuse that little bit of background noise. It's the fan on my laptop, which is usually okay, but I figured if I put off the video, I'll probably forget to do it. So I'll just do it now as I'm doing it. So I'm just going to turn off the grids, construction lines, and joints, or sorry, joists. And uh, I can delete these, select similar, delete. All right. So this is the beam I use to reference my slope. In case you're wondering what that, that's there for. So if I need to change my UCS to my slope, that's it there. So for now, what I want to do is create a moment connection. So I want to weld it top, weld it bottom. I want a shear plate in the center. I want some backup bars top and bottom. So... <clears throat> What I want to do first is, uh, we're not quite sure where the top of these columns are, so I'm just going to make them a little longer, just to make it easier to visualize this. So, in order to copy these joints, we need to create uh, references that can be copied. So, if I drag, so first of all, I want to have a space of a quarter inch between the top of this, between this beam and this column, so that I have enough space for a root pass for a weld so rather than just dragging this back a quarter inch past this what we're going to do is we're going to cut it so at this one here we're going to cut an object so it first it looks for the object to cut against and then the object to cut so if we look in here we can see that that's flush if we go to the cut we can see there's no gap so if we change that gap 25 0.25 sorry so that's a quarter inch so i have a quarter inch gap there now so that's what i want so that's good so we've got a quarter inch gap let's click on that beam come down here click on this here which change presentation type and we can see there's our cut so we will eventually want to copy this cut also so now we want to go into the connection vault and we want to do moment connection so we're going to do this moment connection here which you should be able to see from the reference is a beam to a column so select that first of all it wants us to select the main beam which is the column and then the secondary beam which is the beam now i've done that on the wrong one apologies let me delete that so as you can see it didn't shorten that beam down so you kind of have to do some of the shortening yourself. That's why I've done it already. So let's collect this and this. And you can see that it has beveled that top. It has put in the rat holes that I want, which is good. And that looks pretty good apart from the backup bars. So I'm going to make those backup bars a little longer. So well preparation, backup bar top. I want to put a value in there. They are a quarter inch by one inch, which is correct. And let's make them 12 inches long, which is not quite long enough. You have them sticking at least a half inch. So I usually make them an inch longer either side for the weld to carry over. Um, so that looks good. I just want those tacked on. That doesn't really matter for now. So I want this to be a flat weld. And the client also wants the bottom one to be a flat weld, which is fine sometimes it's required to have the bottom one as an overhead weld <clears throat> so as you can see here this is my space so let's click on the backup bar again and joint properties so i want this beam to be cut back uh, one inch so right now it's cut back a quarter and if you check here the inner web cut is three eight so if I make that zero, that'll go back to where it was originally with a quarter inch space. So I want to make that 0.75. So now that is cut back one inch in there. So that's good. So that's what I want from that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the next one over. And I'm going to create a shear connection here. So obviously that's too small. It's got the right bolts. It's, well, we're probably going to make these one inch bolts. 
so it's, it doesn't have the right bolts. So this is just an example. I'm not going to do this exactly the way I need it, but let's just say we change these bolts to one inch bolts. And then we want to do the vertical spacing instead of being, that's the start distance, the end distance, uh, four lines. Intermediate is three inches, which is good for now. And I'll do horizontal. I want to do three and a half. That's going to be a five inch plate. And then the vertical bolt, sorry, is actually going to be like, we'll just do eight. For now. Uh, I'll do the vertical split at four. I'll take that down a little bit. Why don't we do another one in here just to be safe? <clears throat> All right, so that's what we got. So it doesn't really matter, like I say. So let's delete the box. So now this is separate. So I'm going to pick those three items and I'm going to come up here and go to advanced copy. And I'm going to copy that from here back across to this one. And this is the point here. If you want to make sure, um, we can go to the node on the end of that beam. So that's the node on the end of that beam. <clears throat> All right. So just make sure your holes copy over, select the beam, rotate. It doesn't appear that them holes have copied over, even though I can see them there. So let's change the presentation of the beam back to normal. I click on the beam and you can see the holes are there. It looked like they weren't there because of the presentation type. All right. So for now, we have we want to do is check that this is correct. All right, so that weld is, has copied over correctly. So that plate is welded to that column. And these bolts, because they are pointing through from the far side, are connected to the beam on the piece drawn. So this is what we need. So what I'm going to do is come back over here. I'm going to delete this, this, and this, because I don't need these. Select the beam. Change the presentation type back to normal and delete that. Sorry, delete that. There was two of them there. So this now is your joint. So this is what I want. So as you can see, this is the connection I want. I have the rat hole here so I can weld. I have the rat hole on the top, as we call it, in order to allow me to get the backup bar in there. And that's what I need. Now you can see that this beam is slightly wider than the column and if I click on the, represent, the, the display type of that column you can see that that's going to be an issue because we're only going to be able to weld as far as here to here. So this is just an example. This is what I'm using for this job and they need to decide if they want to cut down this flange here on the corner or not. For now I'm just kind of showing you how to do this process. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the representation of the beam and we'll change it so we can see the cuts on the end of the beam. We need to change this back to wireframe. Oh, sorry, 2D wireframe, not wireframe. It's kind of weird. All right. So that's it. <clears throat> so what we want to do now is we want to create a joint from this. So click on this. And what I'll do is before I create this, I'll save this file as a different name. And... Uh, let's call it, uh, sorry, it's moment test and save that. Now we're going to go here. It's going to be two beams. The first beam is the column. The second beam is the beam. And we're going to name this M O M E N T moment to column right side because sometimes we have to create two. In this case, I don't think we will have to, but sometimes you have to create two. Now we're gonna select the elements. So we wanna select all the cuts that are in here in green, and we've only cut the beam. So once we can see them, we should be good. We got the backup bar, we got the shear plate, the bolts, and we got the well into the column. Right click, this is the situation we have. The drivers are column, beam, that's it. 
that should be work so close that now we'll come over here to the next one as you can see these beams are both running to center of that so we're going to use this connection so now we're going to go into this handrail connection which is uh or sorry hand moment test is where we are and this one that's what it looks like that looks correct it's showing me the cuts we'll do okay the driver down here says select column and then select beam and there we go allow object modification so what we're going to do now is we'll change it back to shaded and see if we got what we want we have got what we want so what we can now do after you create the second one is you can click on this box and then you can copy this and if we go around we can go here and select beam we'll go here select beam and then we can copy these all around so all these are copied and now let's try the other side sometimes it won't work you need to create one for each direction so let's see we'll pick the column and there you go it's good this one do you want to separate yes we can separate i usually do no but we can do yes no whatever you like so you can see within 10 minutes you can create not super complicated but a complicated enough giant copy it <clears throat> the other point now is if you want to use this in another drawing which i don't do because it doesn't take that long to recreate one and in order to make sure you're using the right one i like to recreate it each time but let's say you want to use this again what you can do is you can go save as and we can go back in here we can go to c drive program data autodesk advanced steel 2021 usa shared connection templates and you can see here we can do we can copy this as moment test in there uh, the current drone don't update paths